Hi there everybody, Peter of England bringing you a video on a most auspicious day in the calendar of events globally. Uh, today is the 6th of May 2023 and at 11 o'clock in the morning GMT, King Charles III is scheduled supposedly to be crowned uh, in the coronation ceremony by the Archbishop of Canterbury um, and become officially the reigning monarch for the United Kingdom and everything that entails. So I'm coming up against that type of uh, media event deliberately today to publicize uh, something that I've been promising for a while and it is what's called uh, a, an intervention. Um, People who've been following the channel for some time will have seen the previous videos where we've talked about escaping the trap, where we've looked at the economic and uh, cultural consequences of uh, Klaus Schwab's World Economic Forum and the people behind his agenda, um, ranging from the heads of governments in the United States and the Americas all the way through the um, uh, all the way through Europe and into the Middle East and the Far East, uh, the Indian subcontinent and all points east. And what we have concluded in this is that there is no more uh, rule of law. Uh, there arguably hasn't been for many years. And what we have now is a, a series of oppo-sames, uh, nation states, sovereign nations playing good cop, bad cop, um, with an agenda that is rolling along, it's like the head of a snake, the, the, the sinusoidal curve of the, the waves of the snake go left and right, but the head keeps going deliberately in a straight line. So what that means is that over the years, over the eight years that We Are Bank has been functioning, we have tried to bring you various methods for alleviating the toxic debt burden that's dragging you down into an early grave. And what we've found is there's been competing amounts of pushback from the, the high street banks, the central banks, the so-called regulatory authorities, the judges sitting in their courts, the legal firms that represent the banks and the mortgage companies that take you to court and repossess you even though you have very, very good arguments. Um, so it's got to a state now where I then looked and, and try to put an alternative plan uh, forward for you. Um, that's been done f f since this, this year, 2023, I began in January, where I had held a series of webinars explaining to you about the intricacies of the, the trust front, the, 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 the Sesuiki V 1666 section four, reclamation of your trust uh, and trust estate, and what was involved in doing that. Uh, quite a few people have embraced that idea, but what we're finding still and still and still is it's still a little bit too complicated a procedure for most people because of the intricacies of finance, the intricacies of law, the, the, um, the social preconditioning involved in the fact that you've had to you've had to go to uh, or into a court or into an arena uh, and that puts you in a perspective of zooming, zooming in on the judge and zooming out to put your point forward. Okay, so what that means is that the, the judge uh, sits there and dismisses your argument because you're functioning from the position of being what's called uh, involved in a, a, a citizen subject status in their, their, um, their pagan Roman courier and you are de deemed to be delinquent and not understanding of any of the procedures and therefore in effect a ward of court. Uh, and the more you protest that, the more the consequences uh, adhere against you. So what I've come to the conclusion of now is to introduce some type of intervention. For those who you are, uh, of you who are familiar with the Bills of Exchange Act, um, the United Kingdom Bills of Exchange Act uh, 1882 is one I think that is party to uh, basic structure globally. 
So I would suggest most of you out there who are watching this today that you should go along and have a look at that and particularly pay attention to what's called section 66, uh, sorry, section 68, a payer for honor supra protest. And what that allows is a third party, this is going to be me, a third party can intervene on the behalf of anyone who has had a bill dishonored for non-presentation or refusal and a third party can intervene on their behalf. On their behalf means on your behalf. So what I have done is I have communicated to the IMF and the World Bank. I've communicated to the Bank of International Settlements uh, in uh, Basel in Switzerland and to a chap called Andrew Bailey who is the, the puppet head of the uh, Board of Governors of the Bank of England in one Threadneedle Street um, that as of one minute before 11 today, 11 o'clock being the official time, that number again, uh, when uh, Prince Charles becomes officially King Charles, the account goes live and therefore the pay, uh, the pay instruments, the commercial paper, the checks if you want to call them, um, will start to be issued. So the world is crazy. The world's going crazier by the day, crazier by the week. In between the central bank digital currencies that they're trying to introduce, the crypto, the war, the threat of nuclear holocaust, the trans agenda, the Black Lives Matter movement, Antifa, um, the inflation, the taxation, the mayhem. They are making this up as they go along. And so I held an imaginary conversation with Klaus Schwab's alter ego. And basically what I looked at and discussed with this alter ego is they're making up the reset on the fly as they go along. Whatever they choose to do, they do. Klaus Schwab comes along and says to you, you will own nothing, but you will be happy. But I prefer to step in on your behalf and say, don't just go along with that agenda of theirs, go along with your own. Allow somebody, an individual, a third party to come in and take responsibility for your debt burden. So it is said that Jesus came along to take away the sins of the world, whereas I now am offering through my agency, through my global trust fund, the red book identifier numbers, which are on the checks that you will be receiving, I am coming along to say that we will now, or I will help you take away the debts, the debt burden, the toxic debt burden that has enslaved you for millennia. So that's really what the nux of the matter is today. This is what's being offered. Um, there are only two options available to you really. You can go down the conventional route where you challenge the mortgage company or the finance company or the credit card company or the utility company and you end up with the same old merry-go-round as you did before. Uh, or what you can do is come in with a belt and braces appro approach which cannot be refuted, which is cast iron clad in the fact that the the, the, the payee has very little room for manoeuvre because we are in agreement. And if all parties are in agreement, there is no court case. The court case is only when people are in dispute, i.e. there is a legal and an equitable title to the property. Um, you haven't paid your mortgage or your credit card bills or your utility bills, whatever they are. And you're trying to say that you can't and they're trying to say we want more and so it gets into the, the, the plaintiff making a complaint, you get taken to court and that's where it all breaks down. But if someone is coming on your behalf now saying to the local council for state federal taxes, for uh, mortgage payments, for payments on cars, whatever that is. If somebody is coming along on your behalf, putting into your hand a check that all you have to do is make it out to the payee, send it to them with the accompanying letter, and from there on, you stand your ground. It's accepted and get it 
discharged through the central banks, which are the Bank for International Settlements, the Bank of England and the IMF, or you'll see them in court. So why I'm giving you a, a double-edged sword here is one, the Section 68 intervention is almost impossible to defeat because it's part of a social integration, a right that has always been a fund fundamental aspect of, of commerce that if you get into difficulty and someone volunteers to step in and help you, then that can't be denied. It's a good Samaritan clause. So spread the news wide to everyone. You have nothing to lose. If you are an existing member, the checks for being delivered to you, we have to charge a little bit for administration, for printing and for postage and a little bit of labor, but they're coming to you currently at 50, I think it's 50 sterling. Uh, the others are, uh, for anyone who isn't a member, they're gonna have to join, okay? And that, all that information is down below in the link that comes onto the, onto the Weir Bank website and takes you onto removement. So, that's the action I'm looking for you to take now. This is why the video is short, succinct, and to the point. But please, all of you, replay this section now to yourself. Your main, your main defense now is two-pronged. It's two-pronged and it's delivered at, at this ceremonial time before Charles gets crowned king, supposedly, of the United Kingdom. The account's gone live before 11, and the two twin prongs that you have are one. Someone has volunteered to intervene on your behalf to pay your debts. It doesn't matter what the debt obligation is, it can be paid, and it's been paid by me from my global trust fund identifier, Red Book, Straw Man account, and the parties that are going to be doing the clearing um, are all informed. So there is no argument this time about Weir Bank not being a recognized bank by the various uh, regulatory sham agencies, uh, that it uh, is fraudulent uh, and so on and so forth because there is a valid sort code, there are valid account numbers, there are valid bank addresses, and the heads of these agencies are all informed. So not only do you have the checks to present, which is brilliant news for you, but the next line of effective defense is an attack point, because you're saying to the payee, take this and get it discharged, or, I'm happy to go to court. And what I provide you with there is the proof that the judge is a co-conspirator, a joint conspirator, acting with the IMF agencies. Since 1944, when the Bretton Woods uh, financial agreement was welded into place and the secret part of that agreement fell into place, which in effect bankrupted the world and therefore everybody within the legal, judicial and political arena had to get juiced in to the payment structure to deceive you. Now, I don't have a problem the fact that they did it. The big problem and your archetypal defense is it was fraudulent. They didn't reveal it to you. They hid it. They kept it under the carpet. They denied it. And that's the problem. It's not telling the lie that gets you into trouble. It's the covering up of it. And fraud vitiates everything. If it's fraudulent, then the contracts, everything, including the social contract, that this so-called King Charles III, King of England, would think to mount onto you now with the entire ecclesiastical uh, infrastructure behind him, even encouraging you to make a pledge of honor to this character today. Um, that social contract is void, is null, it is shredded, and has been for some time, but now you have the tools to prove it. You can prove these two things, and from that point forward, 
Now what I'd encourage you to do is go to the Weirbank site, follow the links there, they'll take you to the shop and take the, uh, the two products, whether you're an existing member then or you want to join. Um, and that's it. So there's a divorce, there's a separation coming up now. This is you on a new, a new course. There is more information to come very, very soon on Area 52, which will be something to provide you with citizenship, passport, documentation, and a diplomatic status in an area that is on the planet, but outside the territor territorial jurisdiction of all principal um, land-based states and so-called sovereign nations on the planet. Hope you've enjoyed it. Share this with everybody. Now what you can do is you can pay anything for anyone, anywhere. Come and join us. Peter of England saying thanks for watching.